primers let's go ahead and do this because it's Friday guys I started filming this video on Tuesday so I've been at this the whole week right so I have large pores and oily skin so I'm trying to go for products that are going to combat that so I'm gonna keep this it's one of my favorite SPFs it's from Murad it's the oil and pore control gonna get rid of this gonna keep this NARS one gonna keep this one from Shiseido I'm gonna get rid of this one I'm gonna keep this one from Estee Lauder gonna get rid of these because they're just too hydrating for my skin type gonna get rid of this Fenty one but I'm gonna keep the matte one of the Fenty these can go as well this NYX one is very very dewy this reminds me of like a moisturizer like a thick thick moisturizer so yeah I don't need this this matte one from Aborian I'm gonna keep this matte one from W7 I'm gonna keep this one I've used quite a bit as you guys can see but I don't really notice a difference with my skin when I use this compared to when I use my other blurring primers so I'm gonna get rid of this this one's meant to be a dupe for that Fasali one, but I don't think this one is as good as the um, Barry M one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Going to get rid of this one. Going to get rid of this one. I just got this recently, so I'm going to keep trying it out. Going to get rid of this. It's a dew primer, so I don't really need it for my skin type. Same with this Stila one, really hydrating. I feel like these primers are pretty good for dry skin, but for my skin, it's just too much. Gonna keep these Benefit ones. Gonna keep this one from Aborian. Gonna get rid of this one. Beccar is no longer a brand, so getting rid of this one. I don't think I've tried this SPF 50 from SkinCeuticals, so I'm gonna keep it and try it out. Gonna keep this one from Wonder Skin. This one's more of like a moisturizer, actually. I might put this in my moisturizer drawer. Love this SPF from SVR. It's not only mattifying and blurring, it's also, of course, SPF 50, so keeping for those summer days. Uh, gonna get rid of this one. Gonna get rid of this. Gonna get rid of this MAC one. Gonna get rid of this YSL one as well, as pretty as it is. It's just not for my skin type. Same with this Too Faced one. Right, now, I feel like every time I use these, I break out. Like, it's so bizarre. I, I keep wanting to give it another try to make sure, but every time I break out, and it's been like four or five times now, and every single time I break out on my cheeks. So do you know what? There might be an ingredient in here that my skin is sensitive to. So I am going to, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna give it one more go. And if I break out the next day, then I'm gonna get rid of it. Gonna keep this liquid powder from Fasali, even though Fasali I don't think is a brand anymore. I love this formula, so I'm gonna keep it. As well as the Skin Tune Blur, absolutely love as well. So I'm gonna keep. Do you know what? If I'm gonna keep the Fasali one, then I don't need to have the dupe. So I'm gonna get rid of these two but if you are after a dupe Technic and W7 have similar ones gonna get rid of this um beauty what is this called beauty bakery the butter stick very hydrating keeping the elf blur in primer I also have a backup of this because I really really love this formula very similar to Fasali skin tune blur so keeping gonna get rid of this gonna get rid of this going going gone i feel like i got my fair use out of this guys but i'm done i'm like sick of this primer now so it's going not in love with this pat mcgrath primer so it's going this i'm gonna put in my moisturizer drawer because i feel like it it, it performs just like a moisturizer it's the bobby brown vitamin face base what is this coconut skin priming moisturizer i don't think i've used this no it's still sealed so i'm just gonna get rid of it gonna keep this spf 30 blurring primer as well like two of my favorite things in a product <laughs> right a couple things left um kevin aquan sensual skin i don't think i've used this that looks pretty hydrating rather than blurring so i'm gonna get rid of this because i feel like when it comes to hydrating primers i could just use my moisturizer do you know what i mean i don't have extremely dry skin i don't have dry skin at all so i don't really need moisturizer and then a hydrating primer on top so anything hydrating i'm just like it can go regenerating smoothing matte gel oh i don't think i've tried this yet i'm gonna give this a go it's meant to be matte so yeah so these are the three putty primers from elf i've got the poreless one the blemish fighting and the matte I think I'm going to keep the original, the poreless one, and then the other two can go. Right, so let's put the primers back in here and see how we are looking. This big clunker can't fit in. 
that is not bad at all that is all i'm keeping with the potential of the charlotte tilbury ones going so yeah that is not bad okay so the next category we have is blushes these are like my cream stick blushes i don't see myself getting rid of many of these because i rarely keep ones that i don't see myself using so all of these in here i think i will most likely be keeping but i'm just gonna double check this shade can go i don't see myself using this one much same with this one here from e.l.f. Don't need all three of these. So I think I'm going to get rid of this darker one. Definitely keeping Daiquiri Dip. I use that all the time. This one I don't use as much. So I'm going to get rid of this one. All of the Mitchell ones are staying. Made by Mario. Let's double check these colours. That one's pretty dark. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't really wear plum blushes. Just because they kind of look like a bruise on my cheek. Or like I've been slapped or something. I prefer like orangey coral type of tone. So yeah this is going. Not living for this one. This is soft coral by makeup by Mario. Going to get rid of this one as well. Going to get rid of this one as well. I think this is the hot pink one. I'm going to keep this one raspberry. Uh, the Jacqueline ones are staying. I really enjoy that formula. The She Glam ones are staying. I think I can get rid of this shade. These nude stick ones are staying. This Natasha Denona one, I haven't used it yet, but I don't see myself using it. Yeah, this Natasha Denona one can go. This Charlotte Tilbury one can go. Right, I think all the rest are staying. Right, so let's go ahead and move on to, oh wait, do I want to keep this? Mm, I don't love this one, it's that kind of purpley tone again, but I don't want to get rid of all of my purpley toned ones because God forbid if I do actually need it one day, I won't have any, so I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the powder blushes, so let's see, this Kylie one can go, it's too light for me. This is by a brand called Code 8. It's not a shade that I wear often, so that can go. I think this is the coral one. Yeah, this is staying, Pat McGrath. These two XX Revolution ones, I love, so they're staying. This LA Girl, my favorite, staying. This one can go. And then I think this one's like a bright hot pink and I'm gonna keep it just in case I do like a pinky look or a Barbie look, you know? You always need something in the bank that's something like this. Uh, this one's gonna go. This Beauty Bay one's very similar to the LA Girl one, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Ooh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, I'm gonna keep it because I love this tone. Technic blushes are staying. My favorite is this one, Koi and Indian Summer. Indian Summer is the best blusher in the world. You guys need this, it's like a shimmery orange. And they're like three pounds, I wanna say, super cheap. Right, these Colourpop ones, I love the colours of, but I think they're limited edition. I'm going to keep this one because I love the colour. This one, I think, can go. It's that pinky type of colour. This, I think, can go because I have so many orangey blushes already. That's quite icy. I think this one can go. These two Revolution ones, I'm going to... Uh, hmm. I'm going to keep these for now. Bare Minerals Blush in Peachy Keen. I don't know if this would work for my skin tone. It's quite light. I'm going to keep this one because I do really like this kind of light peachy colour. And when I, when I don't want to go for something so orange, this might be good as an alternative. Keeping this KVD one, beautiful. This one I don't use so much, but I think it's good to have just in case. So yeah. These Vive ones I absolutely love. I'm going to get rid of this one. This blush from Be Perfect, I don't think they've released it on their website yet, but if you do have a store near you, they do have it in the store. It's so pretty on the cheeks. It's that gorgeous orangey peachy colour, but it has a slight sheen to it. It's really, really beautiful. Right, and last but not least, these two NARS blushes. Stunning. This is staying in my collection forever. This is in the shade Exhibit A. You need it if you have deeper skin like this. Just, just going to make your cheeks pop, okay? And then this one is is a pinky purple so i'm gonna get rid of this one let's see oh also i have the jaclyn hill palette i think i'm gonna get rid of the pinky one just because i really don't wear pinky blushes so i'm gonna get rid of the pinky one and i'll keep the peachy one i think this can go as well just trying not to hold on to too many things let's see if by some miracle i can fit everything in here did it it all fit into this one drawer
Okay, bronzers. So, first of all, of course, I'm keeping a backup of my Paradise Glow palette. Let's start with creams. So, I heard somewhere that Marcus, Mark, Marcus Jacobs, you know, Mark Jacobs is no longer a thing. They may be coming back with a rebrand or something, but they're no longer sold at the moment or something like that i can't remember so i'm gonna get rid of these two okay so i'm gonna keep this Too face one i'm gonna keep this huda beauty stick i'm gonna keep the dubious place stick i'm gonna get rid of this uh, revolution concealer because i like the revolution foundation stick for cream contour more I'm gonna get rid of this iconic london stick i don't think they do this anymore i was looking for it on look fantastic and they didn't have it so i don't know if they're gonna continue doing this but anyway getting rid of it keeping this revolution foundation stick this has been with me for ages and it just refuses to finish i will finish this one day but i'm gonna keep it i actually have two backups of this stick i love it for cream contour it blends in beautifully i don't know if they've been sold out of f16 in this for a while i don't know if they're discontinuing it or whatever but yeah makeup by mario i'm gonna keep i don't feel like i've got to use this enough so i'm gonna keep trying it out this tower 28 one i wasn't a fan of it was really quite sheer and really oily so just not for my skin i'm gonna give this away these elf ones i love but i have to keep two shades because one's too light one's a bit too deep so sometimes i just have to take a dab of each and i wish there was like a shade in between these two it's a tricky one because they're so neutral tone they don't really give me the warmth but I don't know I really like the formula I just wish there was more of a warmer shade uh for now I'm gonna get rid of them this Oma Beauty one is staying love this I'm gonna get rid of just because it's so full coverage it's like impossible to apply the right amount because it is meant to be a concealer so this Revolution one I'm gonna keep it's meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one I'm gonna keep trying this out I kind of forgot I had this but I'm gonna try it out again and then the elf one just like the l'oreal one it's beautiful but it's just so pigmented that it's like hard to control how much you put so i'm gonna put this uh give this away oh and of course my huda beauty tan tour i am keeping okay this kylie jenner one is too light gonna get rid of it revolution glow this one's too dark gonna get rid of it morphe one i really like this but um oh god do you know what so hard because i kept both of them because obviously one is a little bit too light and then one's a little bit too dark so it's like maybe i should just keep the darker one and use it with a light hand this duet one i got recently but the tones are just not right they're quite red toned and pinky toned so i'm gonna give this away if i'm not in love with it i'm not gonna keep it so uh jordana t-shirt love these bronzers once again um i'm gonna keep both colors because this is more like an everyday light bronze and then this one is like my super glam i want to be snatched bronze so i'm gonna keep these this l'oreal powder i got as a potential bronzer but obviously when it came it's just too dark it's not even open so yeah it's just too dark for bronzer so i'm gonna give this away this soul body one i don't really like the smell of it it reminds me of like hair grease or like hair products and i don't really like that smell so gonna give this away juvia's place so there's this one and this one so i think i'm going to keep both fenty beauty i think this one is coco mommy is it yeah mocha mommy um it's too red for me so i'm gonna give this away this is a face powder from shishado but i thought i could just use it as a bronzer but yeah it can go i have another bronzer from inglot that i really like so this one can go these are really pigmented really beautiful bronzers um i'm gonna get rid of the darker one and i'm gonna keep the lighter one this morphe bronzer in Lida, i love it's a little bit too dark for me but with a light hand it works perfectly so i'm gonna keep got this recently from be perfect and i like it i'm just not compared to all the other bronzers in my collection i'm just not in love with it i mean it's good if you did buy it you wouldn't be disappointed but for me personally i just have way too many bronzers that i do really thoroughly enjoy that aren't as big and bulky in like big palette packaging so this is gonna go same with this this is gonna go it's beautiful but i just don't feel the need to have all of these shades this is such a gorgeous palette i'm gonna keep this this one from estee lauder um i'm going to get rid of it this one from nars i am in love with i'm gonna keep it it looks pretty dark in the pan but it just blends onto the skin beautifully but i do have a dupe if you can't afford the nars one the sleek bronzer is literally the exact same thing it has a really nice sheen to it really sheer as a really nice wash of color but blend like melts into the skin beautifully so i'm keeping both of these this xx revolution one i'm gonna keep 
Right. This is the one that I prefer from um, Inglot. It's a collaboration with Mora, and this is such a beautiful bronzer in here. The other two products I could live my life without, but I do really like the bronzer in here, and I would travel with this palette as well. So I'm gonna keep this. This Patrick Tar one can go. It's just not the right shade for me. So yeah, we've moved location a little bit so I can stretch my leg. But anyway, Vive bronzer, love this, gonna keep this. Ofra, oh, I haven't used this. Uh, this one can go. Benefit Hula Toasted is definitely staying. This Morphe bronzer is definitely staying. Absolutely love this. This is one of my first bronzers that I got from Morphe and I fell in love with this. Either a mixture of it, if you want a shimmery or if you just want the matte, I like, I love this. Right, this is a Too Faced powder foundation, um, but I thought I could use it as a bronzer, but it's just not the right shade. So that's gonna go. Got this ColourPop palette recently and I've been using it quite a bit. Oh no, the highlight is coming out. But I am finding it pretty tricky to put my brush into them because they're such small pans. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This glowish one, I really just don't use this for some reason. I don't know why, but this can go. This Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer is beautiful, blends into the skin really well as well. Gonna keep my Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. I absolutely love and I'm gonna keep them. One for like the winter time and then one for the summer time. So gonna keep them both. Right, these by Mario bronzers. I'm not in love with the shades that I have here. I don't find that they give me the nice sun-kissed look. This one's a bit too red and then the other one is too light. So they're both gonna go. These H&B Cosmetics bronzers, really love the shades in here so I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep both because sometimes you need a lighter bronzer just for those days where you want to do like a tinted moisturizer something light but you just want a light bronze around the face and then you need like a darker shade for those days that you really want to go you know bronzy bronzy so I'm gonna keep both and last but not least Dol Beauty give me sun I'm gonna keep I know Dol Beauty are going through a rebrand so I don't know if they're gonna come back with something different um but for now i'm gonna keep it that's it those are all of the bronzers that i'm keeping oh and my cream products that is it those are all of the bronzers that i'm keeping cream powders and then kind of palette style big massive bronzers over there so yeah that is the bronzer collection and guys i think that is everything i think that's everything decluttered i'm gonna give you a quick overview of how my drawers are looking now okay guys so this is my palette drawer i know it's still a lot but you have to understand what i do for a job you know but um yeah this is kind of indie drugstore and then high end over there and then on this side i have my big palettes so the massive ones that don't fit into the other drawer and that's it for my palettes only two drawers now you guys know how much i love palettes so that's a big deal for me now this is my lip drawer so much neater so much more manageable i know where everything is everything has a place so yeah in this one i have foundations bases paints colored eyeliners um lash stuff brow stuff eyeliners pencils uh mascaras kind of eye stuff and then just random foundations here i mean i don't really mind not having a rhyme and a reason to everything where everything goes as long as everything has a place and has a draw to be in I, I really don't mind mixing my eyes with my foundation like it's where it fits it's where it goes okay the next draw are uh, okay so highlighters blushes bronzers boom and i've got random lip liners back there as well but it didn't fit in the lip drawer so that's where it's gonna go then in this one we've got pigments liquid shadows um you know art cake liners from my brand makeup by tammy.com we've got like um little sticky things that i can add to my looks little sparkly glitter things Halloween stuff back there, glitters, you know, all of that type of stuff in here. The next one we have lashes, setting sprays and body glows, body makeup, body stuff here. So a bit of a miscellaneous, but not really. The bottom one, which I haven't showed you guys yet, is like backup products. So these are things that I already have open or like on the go. And then these are backups of those products. So we have like backup skincare so that when my favorite skincare finishes, I have backups here backup concealers backup foundations backup primers my favorite laura mercier blurring and Too faced primed and poreless my absolute favorites backup brow products um backup mascaras you know the drill backups 
Right, then moving on to this side, we have in here concealers, under eye concealers, face concealers, face powders, loose setting powders, backup powders at the back there, and then primers here. Next one is skincare. So I did, this is actually after I've decluttered, guys. Um, yeah, I have a problem, but we're not gonna discuss it, okay? Serums, moisturizers, that's it, yeah. I decluttered my skincare without showing you guys because honestly it would have taken too long to show you next one is face mask like you know the ones that you have to apply yourself and then nighttime serums and moisturizers so nighttime serums nighttime moisturizers hydrating face masks clay pore clearing face masks over there next one is body so we've got body creams deodorant body oils hand creams perfumes anything creamy body you know what i mean smell good all of that good stuff down here we have more kind of skincare sheet masks under eye masks we have the foreo masks back there then this section over here is like peel type of you know the um huda beauty wishful yo glow that type of peel put it on for 10 minutes take it off and your skin's meant to be super radiant and glowy like that's those that's what these are those type of products so yeah and then this last drawer is just like miscellaneous we've got like tech stuff so camera equipment and stuff and then skincare um like gadgets and stuff nothing really exciting in there and last but not least in this cupboard over here we have more skincare but up here we have like toners essences that type of thing and yes i have decluttered this already without you guys sorry and then in there we have micellar water cleansing balms cleansing oils washing cleansers to like wash your face with and then backup products down there so yeah that is my collection guys like a quick run through of everything let's go ahead and sign this video out okay guys so that is the end of the declutter i am so happy with the amount of stuff i got rid of i feel like my drawers are a lot more manageable like i feel more inspired to pick out certain products it's still a lot of makeup don't get me wrong but for what i do of course i need different products for different days different looks different types of stuff i don't do the same look every day of course so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did make sure you're subscribed to my channel and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye